what's the crew? Yeah, this is it. Thanks. This thing's an hour. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go through this a little bit. Let's go through this. Okay. Oh, no. I'm gonna go through it again. Especially like this, if ever with us together, but we haven't had a chance to even sit down individually for a while. We don't have no. We don't have no chapters. Craig really did us right. We don't have no chapters here, so we don't see. The, you know, the drums, the music, but more than anything on this project, you know, he brought somebody, oh, oh, he brought himself as someone who stood oh, oh. beside me when a million people told him to not stand beside me. And he also brought hit records. Like, you know, people, we have had a joke like, Oh man, this is Jay's first number one hit in 17 years. And this is Ty's first number one hit in two years. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but we've seen a lot of like really like a lot of number ones for other artists when yeah. it comes to vultures. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, Ty, if you hear what we say on air, but I don't think people understand how talented you are. And how you can get in there and pretty much do do everything in the studio with your eyes closed. And... But we were missing this. Were you guys, did you guys feel like Where's it at? This is all you. We hear, you know, Jesus is king. Yeah, we hear this. Go. Okay, so it's fresh in. All right. Like has that <laughs> do y'all also not only compliment each other, can you tell each other what's not working? And can you put Ye back in the booth? Booth. Oh, and sure. can can Ye put you back in? I tried to remove the curse in a bunch of times. So he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, what do you think? At the last one, I'm like, what do you think we make this thing all clean? He's like, no. <laughs> wow. What is the difference, though, when you hear, and music is like life, you know what I'm saying? Look, and life. Hold on. So before we, before we even get to actually what he's, what they're about to get into, He's already saying that he was still, still battling and wanting to put out a Don diversion. Like he wanted to make, he still wanted to make it to where everybody could enjoy it. Because if you remember on Donda, which is a Christian record, <laughs> He allowed everybody to be them. He allowed everybody to curse, but he bleeped it all out. Eh, they got the freedom to say what they wanted to say. And if you didn't want to hear it, you didn't have to hear it. And if you wanted to hear it, oh well. <laughs> but he said he was going to make clean music from here on out. And so this is what happens when you don't keep those same influences around you, right? Craig was talking about going into these dark places, but having certain people around him. I don't know who was around him at the time that he was really like Joel Osteen was. I don't know. Man, but it, you know, you can think about it. It was a publicity, a full publicity stunt for Ye, but I don't know who was around him in the time that he was very outwardly professing how close he was to God or very outwardly expressing his love for God or his appreciation for God, along with, um, along with. I found connections and some Pixar movies. Don't touch it. Okay. So you see this. Mm -hmm. For some reason, Rapunzel is in Frozen. Why well, then... did you do that? The next one is this one. Y'all give me a second. My daughter is showing me. Showing me something. And then, you see this? That's his yeah. brothers. Like his oh, friends. really? Oh, wow. I, know, I had no idea. Jalea, yes, tell Jay twice that uh, his mom won him. So, I don't know who was around 
Kanye at the time that he was outwardly professing his love for Christ or his stance with God. But I do know that this isn't that same situation. Now, Ty Dollar Sign, surprisingly a love, speaks about God throughout interviews. He's had the record with Cray for a blessing. And I'm not all that, it doesn't bother me or make me think any different of him that he told Ye to keep the cussing in. Like, that doesn't change my view of him. That Ty, in his own right, is very vulgar with his music. Ty Dolla Sign makes very descriptive music. So for him to tell him not to take the cussing out, this doesn't necessarily paint Ty as the villain or paint him as a, a, a devil or a demon or whatever you want to call it. This is just Ty doing what Ty does. And the music, Ty doesn't make Christian music. Ye make Christian music. My only issue with this is, is it sucks because now, now we're walking backwards. And this is something that we've seen a lot of. I have no problem with people cussing, by the way. Um, I... Yeah, it, it, it doesn't bother me. Okay. But for Ye to make this grand leap, and then it just sucks to hear that he wanted to put out another album where he didn't cuss, and he was urged not to do so. That's the problem with this, right? It's not the problem that Ye went ahead and did it because his relationship with God was a bit unorthodox anyways. What sucks about this is, is that he didn't want to and he questioned if they should. And Ty says, nah, nah, keep the raw. Keep, keep the no filter. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Hold on. Change this real quick. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what's up. If you're kind of you're, you're kind of like this, you know what I'm saying. And some people try to put you into a yesterday mode. You know, at one point, yay, we hear, and this is all you. We hear, you know, Jesus is King. We hear this, but that's all you. Then there's sometimes you just want to say, man, not fuck it, but you just want to say, man, this is what I'm feeling right now. Are you in that space where you're comfortable enough to say, this is where I am right now? I'm still a man of God. I, Jesus still is king, but this is vultures right now. This is where I am. It is, but I, you know, I, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I didn't see Jesus show up. So I had to put my, uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience with the level of music that I was dealing with in my own hands. Mm -hmm. Like a, a lot of times I just feel like in our society and America, you know, people, Christians, we depend on Jesus so much that we won't put the word in ourselves. And the main thing that really that I, I don't rock with is like, it's just always like, I'm gonna pray for you. And it's just like, you can actually physically do something yourself too, more than just pray. And we're so, in this mentality that's that's all that needs to happen but we ain't we ain't praying our way out of prison mm -hmm. we ain't praying our way out of the abortion clinics we ain't praying our way to get our land back that was always ours after gentrification after the harlem uh renaissance and black wall street was burned mm -hmm. to the ground them prayers ain't working we're gonna we have to apply actual physical building partnerships and it, and it don't start unless we could really be real with each other and say this is what i did this is what i did like i mean look at this i know i'm not gonna third rail your interview but look at the power of what 
happened when me and Kyrie was on the same page. See, that's what's scary. But what they do is they put us each in a silo and say, your grandmother going to lose her crib and this going to, you know. He's going down this little rant like Ye often does. I'm going to wind it back just so I can make sure that I'm, I'm understanding what he's saying. But as I'm listening to this, it doesn't seem like that he is fully off of the God train. Now, a lot of people say his images and different things like that. I'm listening to what he's what he's saying. And it doesn't sound like he's fully off of believing in God. It just looks like that he's tired of waiting and doesn't want to wait. He's talking about doing things himself. This whole journey, outward journey, started with him wanting to get Kim back. Wanting to keep his family together. Not wanting his children to go through the same thing that he went through. So he prayed. He took all of his talents and offered them to God for three albums. And they were excellent bodies of work. He took what we knew Jesus Walks was and had watched it become, and he expanded it. Y'all know how AI can take one image and expand the background? The background that was never there but, but expands that and make you really believe that it was there the whole time? It shows you what it could be. That's what he did. He built off that hope of Jesus walks being a real thing. And he expanded that era. And it was a beautiful thing to watch. But ultimately he didn't get Kim back and still had issues with seeing his kids. It was a whole bunch of fallout. And yeah, it's like, yo, well, hey, uh, I did it. Didn't work. Now I'm going to God like, hey, we still cool. Like, I've always known you. I've always, you know, kind of talked to you here and there. But uh, this was fun. But I'm going to go ahead and take this back over. Take it too long. I don't want to wait. I believe in the power of me. And me will get this done. So, again, going back to the part of him and Ty Dolla Sign and Ty saying, you know, he's questioning whether or not he wants to release this as a Christian project or not a Christian project, but at least a project with no profanity. That lets me know that he's still battling that he still has that wanting to do the right thing mentality. And literally hearing him say, you know, so we want to believe in God but we won't put in the work. And he's not wrong about that though. Like believing in God is not just sitting back and watching things happen. Like you gotta put in the work because if you don't put in the work, you don't know what you're looking for. You don't know what's around the corner or how to peep game, but I'm off that. Let me rewind this, let, 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 me, let me hear this. So like in our society, that to you, like has it? Do y'all also not only compliment each other? Can you tell each other what's not working? And can you put Ye back in the booth? Booth. And can can Ye put you back? I tried to remove the curse in a bunch of times, and he was like, <laughs> "I was like, oh, what do you think?" At the last one, I'm like, "What do you think we make this thing all clean?" He's like, "No." <laughs> what is the sure. difference though when yeah. you hear and music is like life you know what i'm saying and life you're kind of you're, you're kind of like this you know what i'm saying and some people try to put you into a yesterday mode you know at one point yay we hear and this is all you we hear you know jesus is king we hear this but that's all you then there's sometimes you just want to say man not fuck it but you just want to say man this is what i'm feeling right now are you in that space where you're comfortable enough to say, this is where I am right now. 
I'm still a man of God. I'm, Jesus still is king, but this is vultures right now. This is where I am. It is, but I, you know, I, I, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed and I didn't see Jesus show up. So I had to put my, uh, my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience level of music that I was dealing with in my own hands. Mm -hmm. Like a, a lot of times I just feel like in our society in America, you know, people, Christians, we depend on Jesus so much that we won't put the word in ourselves. And the main thing that really that I, I don't rock with is like, it's just always like, I'm gonna pray for you. And it's just like, you can actually physically do something yourself too, more than just pray. And we're so in this mentality that that's all that needs to happen. But we ain't, we ain't praying our way out of prison. Mm -hmm. We ain't praying our way out of the abortion clinics. We ain't praying our way to get our land back that was always ours after gentrification, after the Harlem uh, Renaissance and Black Wall Street was burned mm -hmm. to the ground. Them prayers ain't working. We're going we to have to apply actual physical building partnerships Hands and, it, and it don't start unless we could really be real with each other and say this is what i did this is what i did like i mean look at this i know i'm not gonna third rail your interview but look at the power of what happened when me and kyrie music where you are right now yeah do supersedes when we did get a chance to sit down yeah. bro is that's we've been dealt dealt with and i didn't pray my way through them threats to the Harlem uh, Renaissance and Black Wall Street was burned to the ground. Them prayers ain't working. We're going to we have to apply actual physical building partnerships. Hands and, it, and it don't start unless we could really be real with each other and say, this is what I did. This is what I did. Like, I mean, look at this. I know I'm not going to third rail your interview, but look at the power of what. And, and, and that's. Mm -hmm. That's we've been dealt. Kyrie was on the same page. See, that's what's scary. But what they do is they put us each in a silo and say your grandmother gonna lose her crib and this gonna you know how I many threats we've been dealt dealt with. And I didn't pray my way through them threats either. I had to get up and do it myself. I had so much to do. I ain't had time to pray. Mm -hmm. So that's where that's that's where my issue is. And look at where I'm at today show up show up you know what i'm saying i understand that that's a controversial no we gotta speak but i dropped the con no we got him and and that's just real life too bro oh. one thing that i wanted to so this is rough right because someone with as much power, influence, and financial stability as Kanye can with utmost certainty or honesty or confidence, I did that. And he's for more than he hadn't always have had it. So this is this is why I believe that it's difficult for a lot of people to believe. But you think about your own situation. This is not a crazy take by this man. The fact that you had situations that you prayed for and you feel like God didn't show up, you then were left disappointed. Jay Money spoke on this uh, and he had a really dope um, situation. And a lot of pastors speak on uh, this where they say you put your belief in an expectation and when that expectation is not met, then you then lose 
lose faith. And I believe that that's what happened. Ye really, really wanted his family back and Ye was willing to do anything that meant him getting his family back, including becoming a very open and straightforward Christian. But because these things didn't come to pass, as he said, he has issues with God. And if you say that you don't have issues, I would say, depending on your age, you haven't lived long enough. And if you have lived long enough and you say you have not had any point where you have had issues with God, I would say that you are a lie because there's always going to be something that lets you down. And it is your responsibility. It is your thought process. It is your right to figure out where this is going to go. Are you still going to trust or are you going to be upset and go and get it yourself? Most of us would be upset and try and go and get it ourselves, try and put in the work ourselves because at least if we're doing that, we're busy. We as human beings don't like just sitting around. We don't like being idle, right? That's the quickest way to death is to be idle, be still, do the same thing. Yet that gets very boring. And the more that we scroll and the more that we see these videos about putting in the work and hustling and grinding and going after for what, what you want, it makes you, when you're in these situations and you are supposed to be waiting, it makes you feel like you aren't doing enough. And so someone in Kanye's position who can buy anything that he wants or solve any problem that he has because he has the connections, the ability, the financial stability. Waiting on God is just something he couldn't do. Now I think it would have been dope if he would have got uh, Kim back. Who knows what position that would have put Ye in if that would have happened. But ultimately it didn't. And this is the result that we've gotten. This is this is this is the gate that we've gotten.